Nia Long is done being the victim of her ex-fiance's scandalous affair, and she's finally reclaiming her voice and revealing new details on their messy breakup. It has been several months since Nia Long's ex-fiance, Ime Adoka, was exposed for cheating on her. But for what Nia is now revealing, there was a lot more going on behind the scenes that we didn't know about. But before we get into the new details that Nia recently revealed, we need to have some backstory as to what really happened. Nia was in a relationship with Boston Celtics head coach Ime Adoka since 2010, and they got engaged in 2015. This means that they were engaged for a solid seven years before the cheating scandal. And one question that a lot of people had was if Ime even had plans to actually marry her, or if he just didn't want her to leave him, so he pretended to be committed to her. Their long engagement aside, Nia and Ime had the perfect relationship. At least that's what we thought before he got exposed for cheating on her with a staff member of the Boston Celtics. We were all shocked when it was the team that exposed him when they released the official statement on Twitter saying, The Boston Celtics announced today that the team has suspended head coach Imi Adoka for the 2022-2023 season for violations of team policies. The suspension takes effect immediately. An insider also took to Twitter to reveal that Imi had been warned on at least one occasion. Ime Adoka had relationships with not one, but two staff members. One deleted all social media accounts. The other has turned off comments on IG. Both married. One was actually married to a senior senior vice president in the Celtics organization who wanted a one-year suspension. Celtics told him to stop on at least one occasion. Ime Adoka did not take the organization's advice. And even though everyone involved tried to do their best to keep things under wraps, more details about the affair started to emerge. The Boston Celtics tried to protect the identity of the woman Ime had an affair with, but the internet did its thing and found out her identity. It turns out that the woman he had cheated with was the travel planner for the Boston Celtics. She was in charge of of arranging travel, accommodation, and logistics for team members on the Celtics. And she also arranged travel for Emi since he was the head coach. This means that she had also known Nia on a personal level since she would have been responsible for arranging travel for Nia whenever the actress wanted to travel to Boston or wherever the Celtics were playing so that she could watch the games and support Emi. Like, that's not bad enough. It was only two weeks before the affair got exposed that Nia had moved from LA to Boston to be with Emi. Because of her career, she had to be in LA most of the time, but she decided to make the sacrifice to move to Boston because she wanted to be with her man and build their life together in one place instead of doing things long distance. But this story continues to get worse because according to insiders, Ime kept the impending news away from Nia until the day before he got exposed by the team. The team started investigating him in July 2022, and he didn't say a word to Nia until September when he knew he could no longer keep her in the dark. So he watched her pack up her life in LA to be with him while knowing that he was sitting on information that would break her in the worst way possible. And to add salt to this injury, his mistress was the one who arranged the logistics for Nia's move to Boston. Ime came under fire on social media for being shady toward Nia and not treating her with the respect she deserves. People left comments saying, nah, Ime is dirty. Nia and her kids moved to Boston two weeks ago. The investigation was in July, lol. That is sick. And so Ime slept with the woman who made him and Nia Long's arrangements to move to Boston? Lord have mercy, it's the embarrassment and disrespect for me. And he released a statement a few days ago after getting exposed where he said, I want to apologize to our players, fans, the entire Celtics organization, and my family for letting them down. I'm sorry for putting the team in this difficult situation, and I accept the team's decision. Out of respect for everyone involved, I will have no further comment. Nia also gave a statement to TMZ saying, The outpouring of love and support from family, friends, and the community during this difficult time means so much to me. I ask that my privacy be respected as I process the recent events. Above all, I am a mother and will continue to focus on my children. And then she went radio silent on the issue. But people have been speaking up for her, like NBA analyst Stephen A. Smith, who put the Boston Celtics on blast for how poorly they handled the situation. Somebody that has covered professional sports for 30 years, has covered the NBA for over a quarter century, Needless to say, I know of many instances where individuals have had situations occur within the organization, and it was never publicized. It was never a press conference. It was never anything that was broadcast publicly about it. But suddenly in this situation, it was. If I'm her, I'm furious. For a multitude of reasons, obviously. Nia agreed with him that it could have been handled better by the Celtics. Absolutely, 101%. He was the first person who said it. I agree with it. I think it's been in incredibly um, difficult for me to manage. 
sports commentator Khaled Abdullah also gave more insight into the affair on Twitter, saying, The other woman is married and her husband caught them. Husband went to the team and they signed paperwork saying it was consensual, and that should have been it. Later, she said Udoka was inappropriate to her before they hooked up. Team told him to chill, but he kept doing whatever, and then slept with the Celtics minority owner's wife. That was too much for them, and they suspended Ime. If it was midseason, they would have fired him, but it's the offseason, so more time to investigate and see what else he did. This was a lot for Nia to deal with, and we're not only referring to Ime's actions, but also the public embarrassment that she was forced to go through by the team. Well, Nia is done being silent, and she's finally telling the story from her perspective, and she exposed the Celtics for how badly they treated her and her son during the scandal. She revealed that Ime had been the one to put pressure on her to move from LA to Boston, and that she hadn't exactly seen the need for her to move since their relationship had been long distance for the 12 years they had been together, and it had worked out for them. But for some reason, Ime thought that they should take things to the next level by moving in together, and he pressured her to move to Boston so they could buy a house together. They had been in the process of house hunting when Ime blindsided her with the news he had been having an affair and that he was going to get exposed in a couple of days. She never saw this coming because there were no signs that he was cheating on her. So not only did she have to deal with this bombshell, but she also had to strategize on how best to handle the public fallout that she knew was going to come. In a recent interview, she opened up about how she felt when the news of the affair finally became public. She said, I literally felt like my heart had jumped out of my body. I went home to be with my son and that was what was most important to me because he was not having an easy time. She also revealed that the affair has not been easy on her son and how it still affects him, saying, I think the most heartbreaking thing about all of this was seeing my son's face when the Boston Celtics organization decided to make a very private situation public. It was devastating and it still is. He still has moments where it's not easy for him. She also put the Celtics on blast for embarrassing her and then leaving her out to dry. She said, no one from the Celtics organization has even called me to see if I'm okay, to see if my children are okay. It's very disappointing. Nia didn't go into the details about whether or not she and Ime are back together or if they're working on their relationship. However, an insider revealed that things are still tense between them. Nia has moved back to LA and even though she tried to get over the scandal, it was too much for her to deal with and she ended things with Ime in December 2022. Nia's revelations have caused people to turn up the heat on the Celtics, blasting the team for not protecting her. Someone commented, Celtics really not getting enough heat on how they handled the Ime situation. And clearly Nia Long was the only woman they weren't interested in protecting. Another person tweeted, if the Celtics wanted to fire Ime, they could have just did that. They didn't have to embarrass Nia Long like that. But then other people feel like it was ridiculous of her to expect anything from the Celtics. With someone saying, I like Nia Long, but her thinking somebody in the Celtics organization should have checked on her is hilarious. Girl, them folks don't owe you a single thing. So do you guys think that Nia was out of line to expect the Celtics to reach out to her and keep an eye out for her? And what do you think about her new revelations? Let me know what you think in the comments and then check out this other cool video.